What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It's AJ Good here from the House of Masks, joined by Amber. It's your first time on the channel? This is my, um, yeah. It's her first time on the channel. I'm just continuing the running joke of using women as props so that the dorks out there that are watching this can feel like they are getting attention from a female. I'm totally kidding. These are my friends. Amber's my best friend, to be honest. And today, we are Halloween hunting. I'm going to make this intro as quick as possible. I can already feel myself sweating. It is in the 90s. It is hot as shit. I don't even want to be here right now, but we're in Grove City. We're about to go into Michael's. We are doing a Halloween hunting episode because it's what the people want. It's what the people deserve. It's what I want. And I don't know what else to say. Let's do Halloween-y things. Let's go. Oh, by the way, I got my dream truck yesterday. Four by four manual 1996 Toyota Tacoma there, baby. We're going to Michael's first because we were closest. We just had food at my favorite place, BB Bop. After Michael's, we're definitely going to hit Target and we're definitely going to hit Walmart. I don't know anything else that's around here. Maybe, maybe some spots in Chillicothe. I don't know. We love Grove City though. This is definitely for rich white people, but maybe we can pretend that we're rich and that we're white and that we're people. I don't know. I'm gonna be honest. I haven't been to Michael's since the accident. <laughs> oh. Ah. Oh. Ah. Hey. Hedger Allen Poe. <laughs> Fuck, dude. <sighs> what that mouth do? It's adorable, but I hate so it. Cute. I know. I think I need it. Okay, this is actually fucking sick. I'm gonna have to get that. Pretty sick. Amber just got a new apartment and she's gonna decorate it. And guess what apartment it is? It's the OG House of Masks apartment. Dude, these are sick too. I don't even know what I would put in here, but it's cool. <laughs> this is really embarrassing. I swear this, this never happens. There, just like that.
All right, I'm pretty impressed with Michael's, not gonna lie. Never, I don't think ever, looked at their Halloween stuff, so that was a first, and it was pretty solid. Honestly, they could have just had that coffin clock thing, and I still would have been impressed, but we're at Target now. Stop two. It's miserably hot, so I'm not filming in the truck anymore. So, uh, yeah, you get what you get. Here we go, Target. I was gonna say at least we have Target toy selection to look at, but I just waltzed through the toy department and it all sucks. The tech decks are low, stupid, no monster trucks at all for some reason. Pokemon section sucks, although they had a lot of Cubone figures for some reason. They had like big ones, little ones, all the ones, Cubone. I don't know, where's the Cubone love coming from? Though I forgot about the little NECA section, so we'll check this out too. Damn, Awesomeo, what are we talking about? Greetings, I am the Awesomeo 4000. Kinda sick, actually. Fucking Cookie Monster. Not too bad, not too good. Looking for some goosebumps. I just found them. Not a very big selection. What was that three? Three goosebumps books. And they're all lame. Alright, so Target was pretty disappointing in all areas, I think. Amber got some stuff, but she said it was still disappointing. Um there's a goodwill on this side now. First time that there's been a goodwill up here, so we're gonna go hit that real quick. And then hopefully Walmart has their Halloween stuff out. We don't know, but I would hate for this episode to be a wash. All right, we finally made it to the Goodwill. Very long trek from the Target right there. I don't have high hopes for this because Grove City really is a pretty wealthy area. And I feel like all Goodwills suck now. Like they're not even thrift stores anymore. They just buy other stores things and then resell them. So it's like new old stock of other stores i guess i don't know i feel like this is gonna suck but maybe maybe they'll turn the thrift back on what do you think thrift is being turned on who up thrift in a <laughs> store right now well, this is it. is the whole Halloween section. <laughs> uh, ooh, a mask in the wild. It's one of the worst ones we could ever find, but there's some more stuff. I mean, that counts for something, right? Well, that was pretty much exactly what I expected, but damn, look at that truck. Shoo! We're at the Walmart. Uh, at least I think we are. There's, there's no sign on this Walmart, so I hope this is the Walmart. I'm still not sure. I think we might be in luck, because I see a Halloween duck. 
Oh, hell yeah. Oh, hell yeah. Where should we start? All the way at the end? Work our way back? Ah, school stuff. All right, kids' costumes, dog costumes, don't really care about that. More costumes, don't really care about that. Whatever these things are. Check this out. I'm upset I'm a part of this. You are a part of this. I think this girl is like becoming a furry in real time and I hate it. I hate it so much. Stop it. Incredibly unimpressive mask selection this year. Not that I really expect Walmart to ever have good masks, but definitely the least variety I've seen from Walmart in a while. Thanks. And everything here is boring. They even found a way to fuck these up. Remember when these were cool? Now they're vacuum formed. They're not the thick kind. And they got this stupid eyeshadow stuff dripping down the face. Eyeliner? Eyeshadow? Mascara. Dumb. All right, I've got a lie, I'm really impressed. Terrible selection, not good. Found another aisle, let's look at this. This is a weird way to separate the aisles. I don't like that. Just put all the Halloween stuff together. All right, I got a lie again. I'm really impressed. We're gonna go look at the toys, see if there's any toys worth looking at, and then we are gonna go home. So Walmart did have stuff. It just wasn't very impressive at all. And I don't know if it's the heat or what, but I'm just like not even feeling this. I'll tell you what I am feeling though. That fucking Toyota, dude. Oh my God. Let me show you guys the inside of this thing. Cause I keep talking about it. This is a 1996. Look how clean this interior is. What are we talking about? Six and a half hours later. Bye. Bye. All right, we're back at the building. I got one score, as I'm sure you saw in previous scenes. I got this coffin clock combo. Coffin clock combo, huh? Clonk bo? I don't know. Whatever. Uh, it wasn't a great day of Halloween hunting. I mean, it's still August. I have to remind myself that in every single Halloween hunting that we've done so far, which is like four maybe five and you know it was hot like we really just weren't into it and because i'm so disappointed in this i'm going to reward you guys with some wholesome content so check this out all right so i've been talking about my new truck throughout the entire episode today and i love that truck that's my dream truck that's like a bucket list thing i'm not lying i know that might sound weird because it's a mid 90s Toyota Tacoma and a lot of people out there that don't get it won't get it but I love that truck and I love my old Tacoma I have a lot of memories in that thing I've had it throughout multiple relationships I've brought many many motorcycles home I've gone on many trips in that Tacoma I love it and there's nothing wrong with it I cleaned it out the other day to sell it because I don't need two Toyota Tacomas and I showed my grandpa the new truck and he was like, man, I really wish that I could buy that other truck off of you. I really wish that I had the money for it. And I know that he has wanted a truck 
for a long, long time. Actually, he had a Ford Ranger in the 90s that he loved. He just absolutely loved that truck. I was brought home from the hospital in that truck when I was born. So he had a lot of sentimental attachment to that truck. He ended up passing it down to my dad and the truck was around for a while, but it doesn't exist anymore. So I'm gonna just give my grandpa the old truck. I put it on Facebook. I had a lot of hits about it. And every time somebody messaged me, I was just like, man, I'd really like to see this go to somebody that could use it. I'd really like to see it go to a friend or a family member. And when my grandpa told me that he would love to have that truck, it only made sense. And he said that about all my trucks. I've had quite a few trucks over the years and a lot of them kind of uh, didn't last too long thanks to off-roading and stuff. And man, it's just gonna be really cool to give back to him because he's done so much for me throughout my life. Uh, there have been points when I've literally been homeless and I've had to live in my grandpa's basement. There have been points when I really needed a car and they didn't even question what was going on. They let me borrow their car. They've always been there for me. I love my grandparents more than just about anybody on this earth. And I've met plenty of my friends' grandparents and they all kind of suck. So I'm very, very thankful for my grandparents. And if this truck brings my grandpa even a slight smile or a little bit of joy, then it's definitely worth it for me. So Ben is on his way here now. The truck is all ready to go. We're gonna take it up there and surprise him. And I think he isn't really gonna think that it's real for some reason. I don't think anybody's ever done something like this for him. So yeah, let's go. All right, so here's the plan. I got Ben with me. He's gonna drive the old truck up, which by the way, is actually a lot nicer than I remembered it being. Once I got it cleaned up, yeah, it's just a dirty old truck. So like, as I cleaned it up, I was like, fuck man, this thing's actually still pretty nice. And I also got sad because as I was cleaning it out, I was thinking I was gonna sell it. And I remembered like, you know how many bikes I've brought home in this thing and just good memories I've had. You know how many relationships I've been in with this truck and guess what? The truck never cheated or lied to me. And I'm here I am getting rid of it, just like they got rid of me. <laughs> Anyways, so yeah, Ben's gonna follow me up and we're gonna give this thing to my grandpa. He is probably going to cry. Keeping it in the family. So this usually happens the other way around. Yeah. Usually grandpa gives you the truck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's time to pay him back, man. He's been a good grandpa. What? I know it was you. How'd you know? A couple of hippies. <laughs> Long haired freaks. I got you a truck. Huh? I got you a truck. I got you a truck. Is it a joke? No. I ain't Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> He'll be back next week to get it. <laughs> <laughs> this is just for the video. <laughs> Are you kidding me? I took real good care of it. That's custom. Hey, that's character. Alright, there's custom. Custom. Yeah, you need that on there. Yeah, I figured you probably want them on there. Hell yeah. Are you really? Yeah. Damn, what amazes me. Just cry on camera this time. <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm not ready to. Don't cry. <laughs> Why? That's time to love you, bud. It's just material things. Sure. Ben didn't cry about him a bike. You son of a bitch. Hey, let me set my truck. I've been wanting a truck for so long. Yeah, this is nice. I know you have. Oh, got Michael Myers in here. That's badass. I'm gonna need that back, actually. Oh, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Damn, dude! Now you can literally still not go anywhere because you never leave your house. But I got a truck. But you do have a truck. Right. This is screen used. Screen used House of Masks truck. Damn. Damn. It's been on videos too. That's almost like what I just said. I still say if you need a place to store Michael Myers. Jesus Christ. Give the guy a truck. <laughs> and he wants me to give him a full-size no, Michael Myers. I, I don't want you to give it to me. I want you to 
I'm going to store it for you. I bet you do. How much gas you got? I might go get some gas put in it. Uh, a quarter of a tank, maybe. Yeah, that'll last till tomorrow then. Yep. I'm sure you won't. You shitting me. You got to be shitting me. Nobody's ever gave me anything like this. Really? Never. Huh? I've always had my own. This is sweet. Hell I yeah. Take a shower if I think it's coming up. Wash my hair. We ain't having sex, man. I don't... <laughs> hey, I feel it. like it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Man, I feel like really like a little kid. Man, I had to get insurance on it. <laughs> Hell yeah. Air condition. Came right on. There you go, buddy. <laughs> Two thumbs up for him. <laughs> you made me, boy, I tell you. Alright, love you. I love you too, buddy. Alright, camera's off. Tell him it, tell him, tell him it wasn't real. Yeah, Alright, I'm gonna need that. There you here. go, you can take him back now. Whatever, <laughs> shut it off. It's been that so camera. long since he's had a vehicle, he forgot that you have to turn him off and, you know. That's the only key I got for him. Okay. We replaced the starter a year ago. Ain't nobody will ever get it. There you go. Ben. Love you too, buddy. Love you. Super love you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh. Thanks for being the best. God, is this what I get? I'm appreciating it. Well, I don't I feel like I did anything, but I'm appreciating it. You've always been there, man. You let me live with you a couple times. Always let me borrow your car, no matter what. I got a truck if you want to borrow it. <laughs> you need any stuff out of this? Nope. That was the rope I was going to with. Oh, I can't say that on YouTube. Yeah, don't say that anyway. That was the rope I was going to build a I don't want to hear that. tire swing with. <laughs> I don't want to hear that. Oh, I do want that, actually. Oh, yeah, we need that. That's my beating bat. No. That's my golfing bat. I thought he wanted it. There it is. You believe this, boy. I don't need this CD, though. Low Life Revolution. Matt Shipley's Low band from the 90s. <laughs> Damn, got me a truck. I always like trucks. I had one for 20 years. No, I got another. Well, I had that Chevy, but I didn't really like it. Yeah, had the Ranger until Dad ruined it. Yeah. If I had to run it again, he'd, he'd drive it and ruin it, and I'd get it fixed. Typical. Then it got to the point I said, no, nah, too much stuff. Well, this one should last you. It's, uh, no more than I drive. And the good news is, here in a couple of years, I'll get it back. It's your father, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Man, when you die, I'm like, No, you won't. You'll have to live my legacy on. All right, let's go ride motorcycles. All right. Love you, Ben. Super love you, AJ. Love you, too. I'm a good person. Love everybody out there, too. But only on camera. You're going to take it back as soon as it turns the camera off. <laughs> <laughs>